Hello everybody. Now we'd like to introduce the new functions of IOIC Mark II. Firstly, you need to connect the IOIC Mark II to a computer and power on. Then, double click the IOIC Mark II icon. In this interface, we can adjust the position of the flight data overlay. On the bottom is the warning setting. Set like number warning. The range is from 0 to 20. Set it to 0 means that the warning is off. When the effective GPS satellite number is less than what you set, the GPS satellite icon is playing on the monitor will blink for warning. Height warning set the minimum warning height and maximum warning height according to your need. When the height of the aircraft is not in the configured range, the height icon is playing on the monitor will blink for warning. Distance warning set it to zero means that the warning is off. When the distance between the aircraft and the home point is beyond the value set, the distance icon is playing on the monitor will blink for warning. After you finish the warning setting, please make sure that you click the right button on the right hand side. One other thing to mention here is the voltage warning function. As long as you have set low voltage protection in MC, when the voltage value is below the first level voltage value, the voltage icon on top left corner of the screen will blink. In addition, the IOIC Mark II now has the flight lock function. What you need to know is that when you finish the installation of the IOSD Mark II assistant software, a shortcut of the data view will be created. Here we enter the data view directly from the assistant software. Click the data view to view the recorded flight data. Every time you power on the aircraft, the IOSD Mark II will record a new data and it will be saved separately. Let's open one of the files here. All right. In this interface, we've got a new window, open data, mouse arrow, zoom in, zoom out, drag, applicable window two, and a language option. On the right, you can see that all the data recorded, you can double click and view it. At the same time, at the bottom, you can see the name, interpretation of the flight data and curve description. In this chart, the horizontal axis represents the flight time and the unit is in second. The vertical axis represents the corresponding data. Next, we will explain the actual meaning of each data one by one. Output M1 records the M1 channel output history data by the MC. And output M2 to F2 records the history data of M2 to F2 channel output. Of course, we can view it each of them one by one here. Okay. It is important to know that when you're using cord rotor aircraft, only M1 to M4 have the output data. When you're using hexcopter, only M1 to M6 have output. When you're using optcopter, only M1 to F2 have output. Regarding to the input, we recorded the history data on aileron, elevation, and rudder, mode switch, proto, X2, and X3. In addition, we also recorded the power battery voltage, the voltage of MC, cam port line voltage, and flight control mode. For the altitude, we recorded the longitude, latitude, height, the free axis acceleration data of the X, Y, Z, axis of the accelerometer, the barometer data, as well as the number of satellites. 
pitch, row, and yaw for three axis angle data, the units in reading, the velocity of x, y, z represents the speed of the aircraft on three axes respectively. Next, we'd like to introduce you some skills to analyze the flight data. Open one data, such as output M1, and then open the other relevant data, input A. We can see that the two data curve scale is not the same and not convenient to compare. So we show you how to put the two data curves together to do the comparison analysis. First, we realize that two curve scale gap is 30,000. So add 30,000 to the smaller input A. The input A and output M1 curve will be on the same dimension now. Then multiply the input A value by 5, for example, to enlarge the input A value. In this way, you can see that the two data curve can be compared more clearly. Finally, we can also zoom in a short data to do analysis. Hope the data will help you to analyze some problems you can have during a flight. Thanks for watching.